Today's video is very important because I'll show you how I created my latest artwork Close Encounters and I will also share with you a huge secret. Envato Elements is offering all their stock assets for free for one week. So you can get a 7 days free trial and you can use all their photos, videos, templates, 3D assets, music, fonts, overlays and so much more. For example, if you want to open a new YouTube channel, Envato is your friend or at least it was for me for such a long time. I used a lot of cool video transitions text effects for my videos and also one of the most important things when you are creating a video music i use their music in almost all my videos and i stay relaxed because i never worried about the copyright claims one of the features that i use a lot in my artworks is their 3d section having the ability to rotate your element and to save the desired angle as a png or psd file really upgrade my photoshop skills now if you want to experience the 16 million plus library of creative assets for free you can use the link in the description of this video for those who are searching for inspiration once you sign up i'm going to show you how i created my latest artwork close encounters using only envato elements stock photos and overlays this is the starting image and to this one I went to filter blur and added a Gaussian blur at 2.3 pixels. Then I always add uh, levels when I'm doing a night scene and I decrease the whites. And on top of my sky I wanted to have some galaxies so I have dragged this image that I also have from Envato and to the images like that where you have a lot of darker areas you set them to screen and then press ctrl and l for levels and here you can increase the contrast by dragging this slider to the right and then hit ok and i have repeated the process drag the image to the right and made it uh, bigger by following the same idea i have added some meteors so i have this image also from envato and set the blending mode to screen again and press ctrl t to rotate the image and place it uh, wherever you want and then hold alt click on the mask and with the brush tool and the color set to white you paint on that area and you show only the area that you paint and then for my main action i went with this image so i have taken the pen tool and selected the area that i wanted from it and then when i finished i press ctrl and enter and edit a mask and drag this image into my document and the first thing that i'm always doing is to work on the lights and in my case i use levels so i decrease the white slider to the left and i adjust the colors by using uh, color balance and the layer is set to color then a thing that i'm always doing which i call it uh, dodge and burn is to add uh, more contrast and to decrease the lights in my image so for that go to layer new layer and here choose the blending mode soft light and fill it to 50 percent gray and take the brush tool and the black color and then now if i started to paint with that color and don't forget the flow should be really low you'll see it will darken up my image and in the same time it will increase the contrast after that for the highlights i'm using a layer set to linear dodge so create a new layer and fill it with black then set the blending mode to linear dodge let's take the brush tool again and now i'm going to select a color from the sky let's say this one and i'm starting to paint on that area where that light is touching my heel and on the left side i'm going to select a darker blue and i'm going to paint on that area and if we look at the image we see that it doesn't really look that well so double click on the image and here we are going to use the blend if to disperse the colors so hold alt and drag the right slider to the right to have a more atmospherical look to our image i'm going to add some fog and i have added this fog behind the hill and another one in on top of everything this is just a normal painting with a fog brush or whatever brush you are using for my main character i was lucky enough to find this really cool picture with this little boy and i have selected uh, the part that i wanted to use and because i really didn't like his uh, right arm i had to change it with another one i searched a lot for an image that uh, the person had a hand like that so uh, in my case i found this guy on uh, the 3d part of envato i have rotated him until i had this angle and because the hand was too close to his uh, body i have added a puppet warp so go to edit and here choose puppet warp and just click on some parts that uh, will be fixed 
and if I'm going to drag this uh, of course you can uh, drag many points if you want you can change the angle of that hand or whatever part you are moving I have uh, placed that arm here and I have added the levels adjustment layer and to the little boy I did the same thing with the levels and the hardest part uh, not hard but uh, it took a lot of time was to get rid of all that uh, grass that is on top and I did that by spending a lot of time with the clone stamp tool so create a new layer and be sure that when you are selecting the clone stamp tool the current end below is selected here so you are going to work non-destructively like that so hold alt click on the image and slowly start to paint hold alt and then click and you repeat the process until you are uh, satisfied with the result so after a while with the clone stamp tool i have uh, i have this result after i had dragged uh, the little boy here first thing that i did was to add levels of course and uh, then color balance the same i modified a bit uh, the mid-tones and darken up everything with using that soft light and with a uh, hue and saturation i have changed the colors here on uh, the backpack thing a thing that I really love to do all the time is to draw, to manually draw some hair. So this is the hair that I draw and I have uh, added those highlights, those rim lights using that uh, linear dodge method. And on top of everything I have manually drew with a white color. This is what I did with a white color on a layer set to linear dodge. When I have some night scenes like that, I always add some really powerful glow. So in my case, I use color dodge. So you create a new layer and fill it with black and then set it to color dodge. And then with the brush tool and in our case with the white color, if we start to paint on the image, you'll see that it will add a really cool glow on the areas that you are painting. But try not to exaggerate because it will destroy like that the image. For this little dude, I have uh, also used Envato for it and I found it as a 3D element, rotate the little guy and the same levels, then darken up him even more with the soft light and change the colors. But this time I have used selective colors where I have modified the neutrals and then adding the first highlights with the blend diff applied and then the other ones without the blend diff and the color dodge to make some glows and the final with the color dodge because we will have the light that comes on top of his head and his shoulders and that's why you have that powerful glow over there i found this really interesting uh, alien ship i went to filter here i choose blur and then motion blur and i have um, try to find a good angle for the motion blur and decrease the distance to around 10% so you know what I do first levels and then I added those highlights where I have painted uh, with a pinkish color to the left because my ship had a different uh, black uh, values you see the black is really black and I really didn't want that I created a new layer and set it to lighten and then I took the brush tool and select a color from the sky, this one, and I made it uh, really dark and I started to paint on my image. I don't know if you see the difference, um, but uh, they have some uh, magenta tones in them and that uh, will uh, make my ship to blend better with the background. And then added a new layer and set it to overlay. And I took the brush tool and for example here on this area where the light will come from I paint it with a yellowish color and uh, where we have the lights here on the ship I paint it with uh, uh, orange color and all over the place I have painted with a bluish color and uh, my ship now has uh, also a blue tone and then on top of it I added more glows using color dodge and at the end I have painted with white some highlights on my ship I was lucky enough to find this image on Envato and I have used it here and uh, set the blending mode to screen, added a mask to select what I wanted and the second one, this spotlight, I have dragged it into my design and set the blending mode to screen, press Ctrl T, make it a bit uh, smaller, drag it on the top 
and because it was too wide I have a hold shift while the control T was pressed and drag the sides to the center and then uh, now it looks good and on top of everything at the end I have added more glows using color dodge and I have painted with a white color on the areas that I want to emphasize. Press Ctrl, Shift and I, right click, convert it to a smart object and then go to filter and here choose camera row filter. Those are the settings that I have used on the basics and then on detail, effects and calibration and then hit OK. Don't waste any time and try this 7 days free trial offer because won't be available for long. So hurry up and click that link in the video description. Please note that this offer is not available for all countries so before you start please be sure that you check out if you are eligible and please be aware that you will be charged if you don't cancel the subscription before the 7 days free trial ends. If you want to have your posts featured in my videos, please use the tag mister 22 review whenever you post your work on Instagram. So the first artist that I'm going to choose for this week uh, featured artist is uh, Deck Ad. He did this for a contest held by my friend PMWPSD and I must say that I really love the final result, the combination of colors and also the glow in the middle and I love the blues that he used. The second artist is Kostov PSD with uh, another uh, design made for that contest uh, as I said, this time we have a different color team and uh, those colors are my favorite and I really love uh, what he did here with uh, the huge scale statue and uh, the, as I said the combination of colors. And the last artist uh, for this week featured artist is Jendi Art with another masterpiece uh, uh, again for the same contest and uh, I must say that his attention to detail is uh, amazing and looking at the assets that he used in creating this design uh, makes me appreciate even more the final result. So congrats uh, Jendi for this uh, awesome design. I hope that I convinced you to try Envato for free and if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment down below with your thoughts about my art. See you next time.